I see the criticism coming already. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. Hi, I'm Michaela. I'm an image consultant. I started image consulting in 2016 back in Argentina where I'm from. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I don't use the Kibbe system for a body analysis. Let me start this video by saying that I love the Kibbe system. I love Kibbe. I follow his Facebook page and I love all the personal styling that he's done. He has way more experience than me as a personal image consultant and he is definitely one of the OG image consultant and stylists that we all look up to. I constantly look at his work and try to learn as much as I can from it, but personally, I do not use the system for analyzing my clients or analyzing my own body and there's a few reasons for that. Before we start, I'm pretty sure that everybody and their mom knows what the Kibbe system is up to this point, but I do first want to touch on how the Kibbe system became a thing and where it originates from. For David Kibbe, traditional style theories didn't go far enough and are, in his view, extremely limiting. Their focus is on achieving balance and symmetry. Kibbe doesn't agree with these theories because he believes their results in everybody looking the same. Instead, he encourages seeking true balance by embracing and emphasizing one's natural look. Instead of achieving symmetry, Kibbe's focus is on achieving harmony. Kibbe says that by recreating your natural, unique yin-yang balance in your clothing, your clothes will look very natural on you. As opposed to trying to live up to a certain style type, Kibbe argues the need to follow your natural lines. I think one of the reasons why Kibbe's theory and system has become popular and has taken over the more traditional body type theories is that it's very body positive and it observes one obvious thing, that we all have different bodies. And this is something that I think every stylist and every image consultant is in agreement with. And also because of the misuse and misconception of the traditional body typing, where for example, women started to feel that they had to have this perfect hourglass body, but that is a misconception of the body type system. And I'll talk about that in a second. So back to why I don't use the system. <laughs> I haven't incorporated the Kibbe system for body analysis first, because there's no official way to learn his system. Kibbe doesn't offer courses or seminars or workshops. <laughs> And despite of having a lot of information on his Facebook page, he has like a, a journey for you to go into. It's not enough information or it's not enough official training. You can read all the information you want about a certain theory and apply it maybe to yourself, but you have to be able to be critical about it when applying it to other people. So despite all the information that he has on his Facebook page, it's not an accredited way to learn. And I find this problematic. Although I love learning things myself and I'm very much self-taught in many things that I do in my life, I think it is important for a system as complex as Kibbe's system or body typing and color analysis to be taught by somebody who has more experience than it and then have practical guidance from the professional who made the system so they can criticize your work or somebody who is taught and accredited by let's say Kibbe for his system in particular and i see this stuff pop up in the internet all the time as a color analyst myself i did my practices back in 2016 in Argentina, I studied with somebody, I learned from someone, and then they taught me to observe. Well, I think I could do a good job. As you move forward in, within your course, there's practices that you have to pass, right? So you bring in a person, you color analyze them, you analyze their body, you analyze their face, you dress them for an occasion, and then you get approved on that assessment so you pass the class or not. And for you to learn these things by yourself, which I 100% encourage, and you can 100% learn these things online, but I would always, always encourage people to also have some type of practice with a professional that has had more experience than you and that can guide you because as much as you can learn about body typing or color theory, color analysis, um, face shapes, one thing is learning the theory and the other thing is actually observing that in practice, you're gonna make mistakes in practice, like any career or any job or any, any skill that you learn. So that's why I find the system so problematic. And especially with a system that is so complex as Kibbe's system, his original book isn't readily available, which is also an outdated source 
according to him. And there are many things in that book that he doesn't agree with today. And he himself has said that a lot of people have been calling his work archetypes and have been playing the guessing game. Let's guess the celebrities, keep it type. That is all fun and games. It's really fun to do that, but it's not an official assessment of somebody's body. It's not an official color analysis or body type analysis to go and look at pictures on the internet because that those can be distorted. There's so many things that can be edited or changed angles so you really need honest images to be able to give an accurate analysis another big reason why i don't use the kibi system is because it can be overwhelming for clients and in my experience when working with clients when it comes to body typing they don't want to learn a whole system they don't want to go to a class on it and, and have an overload of information oh, don't be ridiculous andrea everybody wants the reality is that most people that need help with dressing are usually just normal people like me, like you, like many of you who are watching this, who need simple systems, need help from somebody that can be objective, that has experience, that knows how to dress different lines and different bodies. Usually a lot of people just need help with organizing their closet, with figuring out outfits with the clothing that they already have or how to shop for themselves and giving them a whole system that can complicate the information that they have or overload them with information doesn't usually go well. And also most people don't really usually care to become a fashionista or an influencer of style. They just want to have practical outfits that fit their lifestyle, that are easy and simple to put together and that are naturally great on them without having to think too much about what they're wearing. So they can feel confident and look put together and lift their self-esteem. Totally love the part. This also doesn't mean that I don't encourage people to have fun and be creative with their clothing and try to find unique things about themselves and add their own personalities and twists to their closet, to their outfits. I actually love encouraging people to have fun with fashion, to try out different styles, to make a lot of mistakes. Own that ponytail work that up do but that takes more time that's a more developed relationship that i'll have with a client usually how these things go is first we assess your body we assess your colors we assess your lifestyle we look at your closet we clean out your closet we make sure that the clothing that you have reflects your lifestyle reflects your style and your age where you live there are so many aspects to it it's pretty much holistic from experience most people just want those simple solutions with the least effort possible if you're living a 21st century life, have a job, a career, unless your career is in fashion, I'm guessing you just need practical solutions to feel confident and not have to think about it too much instead of complicated solutions or complicated systems that are hard to adapt. I have to live my life. I'm a person. Whatever we do as image consultants and stylists has to be sustainable for your lifestyle. And lastly, before we end this video, I wanna say that we have to remember that all of these systems are just theories. Very great ones, I wanna say. And I love body typing and color analysis. I have a whole YouTube channel and business around it but every single person is unique. And this is why all of these systems work. What works the best is when you work with your personal lines and personal colors with an image consultant. There is a certain science behind these things, but it's not perfect science. The only science that we have around what is attractive is symmetry, balance, and harmony. For example, we prefer to see symmetrical shapes, art, design, architecture, and fashion is no different. Symmetry refers to the balanced arrangement of elements on opposite sides of a central axis or plane. In other words, symmetry involves mirroring or repeating elements to create a sense of balance and order. Symmetry can be found in nature, such as in the patterns of leaves or the shapes of snowflakes, as well as in art and architecture. Harmony, on the other hand, refers to the pleasing combination of different elements. Harmony is achieved when different elements are combined in a way that is pleasing to the senses and creates a sense of unity or coherence. In music, harmony refers to the combination of different notes or chords to create a pleasing sound. 
background. In visual arts, harmony can be achieved through the use of complementary colors, the repetition of certain shapes or patterns, or the use of a consistent style or theme. In summary, symmetry is about balance and order, while harmony is about the pleasing combination of different elements. And this is why we also seek this balance and harmony and symmetry within our own lines and features too. Kibbe himself actually talks about moving away from symmetry and instead finding harmony. This is something that I definitely do agree with with Kibbe and I utilize this in my color analysis and body typing too. But at the same time, both symmetry and harmony work and are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. To finish off this video, I want to encourage you, if you're struggling with finding what lines look good on you and you're struggling to be objective with your body, I would highly suggest you hire somebody to help you dress. And it's very important that whoever you hire takes a holistic approach. For example, I use a combination of the classic body type system. I take height into account, style, lifestyle, your routine, your personality, your job, where you live, and your style essences, etc. All these things matter. And you also have to know when to break the, the rules. If I have somebody who has a dramatic body type and is a bright spring and their personality is shy and timid, I cannot put them in incredibly dramatic lines. Because if they don't have the personality to carry that, then they're more introverted and shy, they're not going to feel comfortable in, the, in this clothes, regardless of how good it looks on them. You'll take what I give you and you'll like it. Make sure you have a good conversation about what you're struggling with when you dress, what kind of lifestyle you have. Make sure it's a holistic approach. That's when you are going to get the most experience out of image consulting. And if not, try to assess those things yourself. And I'll make sure to make more videos on how to assess your lifestyle and put your colors and body type, your lifestyle, personality and all that together to make your own image. But in conclusion, I love the Kibbe system. I just don't use it for my image consulting and body typing for my clients. I'm going to leave this video with a quote by Kibbe, which I'm gonna read. I really strongly agree with him on this. Style is a journey. It's a journey you should go on your entire life, but you also have to learn technique. So if you've been going crazy trying to type yourself into the Kibbe system, into the 12 seasons analysis, into all these different systems, take a step back and enjoy the process. I encourage you to not overwhelm yourself because it takes years to learn these things. You don't have to fit into any system. You're unique as you are. You're wonderfully and beautifully made. And if you do like learning about all these things, watch my other videos, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all these systems. Hope to see you in my next video. Ciao.